Back to the Lab is a professional development program targeted at hip hop choreographers that have already been around the scene for maybe two, three years and have been making work. And it's a way to invite these artists back into a space in which they can really ask questions about their practice. And for that, it is very important that we bring in someone who's got a lot of experience in this way of working. Previously, we've had Shobhan Ajay Singh and Yasmin Vardimon, and this time we have Jonathan Burrows. Jonathan is a book of surprises. He opens your mind to understand different perspectives on a specific subject, to um, take on a subject in a different approach but without telling you to take it in that approach. So he literally, he gives you the keys, but he tells you to open the door. That's the best way to say it. The way he thinks really, really resonated with me. You know, I'm, I, I said to him at the time, I, I'm, I tend to just sit and think about stuff for a long time, sometimes too long. And like my crew would tell me to snap out of it and then to move on. Well, we started, uh, I thought it was very important that we started with the statement, um, uh, hip hop will teach you everything you need to know. It's not about me coming in to impose a set of ideas on a form which is already ahead in terms of dance development. There was this very much a, you know, emphasis of retaining identity. Your identity as a dancer or as a mover. It wasn't like, you know, Look, guys, we know you do hip-hop, but forget about it. For now, we're going to kind of just look at something more intellectual. It was always that balance between appreciating what hip-hop is and the intellectuality that is already there. The form is not going to go away. The form will not stop being respected. The form will still hold its political power. But we can just step outside of it, shake it up look at it a different way and that's what theatre can offer the form and the form will only grow stronger by that. Absolutely. Being from a mixed background I feel a little bit like I'm still fighting my identity in hip-hop theatre because if anything verges on slightly different it will be labelled with a contemporary brush even though I maybe won't see it as contemporary. So it was really interesting to catch up on some other people's kind of perceptions of the boundaries of hip-hop theatre and perceptions of contemporary dance and maybe for all of us to shift those slightly. We train for competitions way more than we train for performance in shows. This has been a really great, like last year, year and a half, we've really like started to do more theatrical stuff, more show stuff, more performance-based stuff. I mean, as a choreographer, I only really started to think about that when it started to happen. Battle form is extreme theatre. How do we make that transition into more conventional spaces like this one without it becoming stiff and self-conscious? Here's their idea. Here's what they want to achieve. And they've got a bunch of blocks now, building blocks, to sort of channel this stuff. And they know what these things can do. I mean, I've only shown them basic stuff, but hopefully it's sort of covered most of what they'll need to do. So yeah, I mean, hopefully it's, I've given them the tools to express themselves. I haven't shown them stuff that's specific to one piece of work or one style or one, you know, one venue. It's, it, they can take that with them and apply those rules anywhere. When I begin writing, I think it's the, you know, the first few notes. So I often use different sorts of you know, forms, whether it's Evernote, post-it paper, a, a notebook, A3 paper. You can draw, I, I draw, um, but not all the time. Sometimes it's not appropriate when I can just write what it is. I tend to do things in a really non-linear way and with loads of colour. And so for me, it's just about getting it down. I make loads of hideous stick men sketches um, of ideas that I've had. And what I tend to do is I just, I know everything. And then when I come back to it, if I don't understand it, it's gone because 
it obviously isn't that great if I'm not remembering it. Oh. Man, I live like that. Oh, I'm pretty close with the girl. Oh, one them see me new Rolex. Talk like this hard and fix. So me got to oh, Babylon like a big event. Oh, them all I watch ingredients. Oh, do this in diamonds and pearls. Oh, them all I watch you in clothes. Oh, let's go. Come on, For me, I think the overriding question that has been going on for 17 years of my career of putting hip hop dance on the theater is, is it meant to be on the theater? Does it work in this context? People want to make this transition to mm. a conventional stage or, 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 or space other than the original space of the form. Mm. Um, so you have to run with that. There's a lot of people wanting to make this transition. Mm. What's so exciting about Back to the Lab is, is, is inviting a group of people, many of whom would not have access to this level of, of investigation and discussion at a serious level about what they're doing and, um, and see those people come alive. And I believe that we're at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what we can do with hip hop in the theatre space and in other alternate spaces. Mm -hmm. It's not about being good enough, it's about um, being in the space, being in the moment, being around and, uh, and working with different artists and allowing yourself to grow and not questioning your growth, just let it happen. So it's not about the, the, the quality of your work, whether you're an amazing dancer, it's just literally back to the lab to come and experiment and learn. What we learned in, in the first week and then what we learned from just having conversations in the second week, you know, trying this, trying that. I know I would have never tried certain things if you had just made me the code or whatnot, but you know what yeah, you learned. Yeah, props man. Yeah, props to Sean. Big man. It went really well. It went really, really well. Like, the whole, the whole, whole thing was just, the amount of that emotion was on that stage was just completely, completely amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, probably you guys, man. Like, idea is just a one thing, but it doesn't work without you guys' influence. I'm a choreographer of the future, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, there's like one brain. There's like one brain. Yeah. It's, it's really good to see these guys, like, you know, in exploring their choreography and exploring different things. And, it, you know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of the hip hop theatre growing now. Mm -hmm. So it's cool.